This guy coming up, uh, I've known for quite some time. He's a recent gold medalist at the Masters Games, which you told everyone at our board meeting the other day. For the Bay of Plenty touch team, we had the pleasure of beating his Auckland touch team that he played for the previous year in the final. Let's give him a round of applause for being a gold medalist. <laughs> like me, he too was a, an All Black. Um, Maru uh, Samuels uh, is here from, from ICP. Uh, he's from Ngai Te Rangi Ngai Takoto Te Rarawa and was uh, the Tumwaki Rangatira Chief Executive of the Iwi Collective Partnership, um, an innovative seafood collaboration uh, of 19 Iwi, which we heard of uh, earlier. He holds a, a number of uh, Iwi Māori governance roles uh, in the seafood and fisheries industry and is also a director uh, at Te Ohu Kai Moana. Among other prominent roles, he is also a director of the Deepwater Group and has served as co-chair uh, Seafood Sector Adaptation Strategy at the Aotearoa Circle. Maru holds qualifications in resource management, law and environmental management. Maru describes himself as, a, as passionate about finding the sweet spot between enterprise, responsibility and culture within a framework that encapsulates equity and justice. Ladies and gentlemen, Maru Samuels. Ko te moana tō mātou huarahi, ko mātou uh, i runga, i raro, i roto, i te moana i ngā wākatoa i a mātou e tamarikia. Growing up here on, on Matakana, um, where fishing and all of those things are not necessarily commercial things, but things you do to feed your whānau, feed your tamariki, feed your mokopuna. Te kukuroroa, te tuangi, te kokota, uh, te tupa, te, te tio, wera o ngā te kūtai, uh, wera o ngā kaimoana katoa, e tai ai e mātou, te kohi kohi haere. ICP is the Iwi Collective Partnership. Uh, it's a voluntary uh, collaboration of 19 Iwi at the moment. Uh, could, could grow, uh, could be, get bigger. 19 Iwi from around the North Island and they uh, pull together all of their fishing assets that come from the Treaty Fisheries Settlement. Our tūpuna back in the 1800s, we know that they, you know, they were entrepreneurs when it came to um, seafood and, and the fishing industry. This project here, Tikati Hiuka, actually presents quite a unique opportunity to pull together the, the best of our mātauranga Māori and pulling that together with the best of uh, what we have as New Zealand in terms of, uh, I guess, Western science. Oh, he maha, he maha ngā tika, he maha ngā tika ngā mō te, mō te kohi tau. It is one of those things that pushes me to do better, to think about uh, at a national level how can we make our fisheries, how can we make our seafood uh, industry even better than it is? Because I'm always thinking of the, the faces and the conversations I'll have when I come next time I come back home. Uh, <clears throat> we shot that, that video uh, with the help of uh, Hinana Media uh, in the last year. Um, went back to the island and, and shot that. Uh, you know, spent the day with uh, Korohawata um, Korohawata, listening, observing, learning, uh, you know, and those things are, are all about good research. Uh, as I've come to learn, I'm, I'm like uh, Ta Mark and a few others, uh, a lay person when it comes to research. Um, but I think, really, uh, if you're Māori and you're working in seafood or any mahi that you do, you're a researcher, uh, whether, whether you like it or not. Um, so Kia Tika Tehi Ika is the first research project I we as the ICP have uh, ever undertaken. 
and uh, you know I just wanted to celebrate that first and and foremost today. Um, I, and I have to say that the research project and the experiences shown um, on the video has been one of the most rewarding mahi uh, I have been involved in in the 20 year time frame that I've been involved in in the Māori fisheries kaupapa. Uh, tēnā koutou e te whānau, ko Maru Samuels tēnei, uh, i tupu ake au i runga i te mautere o matakana, uh, te whakaruru hau o tauranga moana, uh, ka tū au mua i a koutou, uh, ko maua o te maunga ko mātātua, te waka ko tauranga te moana, ko Ngāti Tawaiti, uh, ko te ngari oku hapu, uh, ka mahi, ka mahi, uh, ka mahi ki a koutou. Uh, look, with the six minutes I've got left, I, I just really want to touch lightly on um, some of the learnings that we've had through our research project. Uh, and most of those learnings uh, are about process uh, and something I've, I've come to learn uh, about as part of our, our project. Now, I didn't ask how I do, how I work this thing. Green? Yeah, it must be greener. Yeah, awesome. Um, look, uh, as mentioned in the video and in, in the presentation by uh, Jason and John uh, and a few others, uh, I think we've established who, who the ICP is. Um, but as I said, this is, this is our, our first uh, research project. And I, I want the second thing I want to do is just get straight into some acknowledgements. And that firstly is to uh, the Sustainable Seas Kopapa uh, for backing our vision. Uh, I first had this idea seven years ago. Um, and, and went around and um, so thank you Sustainable Seas for, for getting in behind us, not just in terms of putia, but also in terms of research infrastructure, you know it's, it's, it's new, it's, it's a big task when you uh, take on research uh, for the first time, so thank you secondly, thank you to um, our brilliant research team, um, Irene and Greer, could you please stand up I know uh, yeah, I know I didn't say, but can you please stand up? I just want to acknowledge Irene and Greer, um, part of our research team, and uh, Iruera, Iruera Lee Morgan, who couldn't be with us today. But you know what? Um, one of my key learnings is it absolutely matters who your research team is, especially uh, when you're doing research Māori. So, so thank you uh, to our team, and I'll talk a little bit more about that uh, later on. Um, you know, my, my first learning was that Kaupapa Māori research methodology, or, or another learning, uh, is just as important as the research uh, findings themselves. I've learned it about, it is about respect. Um, it is about paying homage. Uh, Irene has a brilliant way of dropping gems uh, for me uh, as a non-researcher. And, uh, you know, as I grasp and learn and pick up those gems, she does it in a way that makes me feel like I discovered those gems all on my own, uh, you know, but then later on I'm like, I can feel it, you know, Aaron's like, yeah, I'm, I'm glad you finally picked that one up. Thank you, buddy. Um, so, so thank you, for Aaron, for your, for your way of uh, doing mahi. Uh, finally, the most important acknowledgement is to, is to my our 19 iwi um, up here. And I love, you know, when I think about ICP, this is ICP. It's not that other logo. That's cool, but to me, this is what the ICP uh, is all about. And so I want to acknowledge uh, our 19 iwi for their bravery, uh, taking on this challenge, asking this question, you know, what does our tikanga mean uh, in, a, in a commercial fisheries enterprise? Uh, their commitment to tika, their commitment to pono, uh, and facing the hard questions. Within what is a successful multi-million dollar iwi-owned fisheries enterprise, to then take on this question, you know, is involves risk, but it is absolutely uh, the right thing to do. So the ICP undertook Kiatika for two reasons, uh, identity, this is how we roll as Māori, this is what we do. Uh, for some reason, at some point we created this line which said tikanga belongs here, it doesn't belong there, uh, we want to remove those lines, and we can, and that is part of our, our vision. Secondly, it's about this idea of brand, you know, it's about this idea, and, and uh, John and Jason have, have touched on it as well, and others, uh, you know, could, could doing something in a ticker way uh, open up market access, uh, provide a, a market premium? You know, that, that's yet to be proven, but that's absolutely part of what we're doing. 
Um, geez, that time moves really quickly, doesn't it? Here we go, straight into it. Um, key, key learning out of these four. Laying the tikanga foundation first. You know, when you step down this pathway of what is our tikanga, what is our kawa, there is no turning back. You know, you choose that pathway, you choose it carefully. Whatever comes out of that, so you lay that foundation. There are others who laid that foundation for us. It's not for me. I don't have the ability to box that concrete. I don't have the ability to lay that foundation. I rely on our tohunga, our experts in that field. And there aren't too many of them left, and we've got to move quickly. Uh, what I have uh, is the discretion on what type of whare I build on top of that foundation. As an operational person, I do not lay the foundation. And there's a point where we've got to accept that. Uh, working in our, our Māori enterprise. But that, that is absolutely uh, a key learning. The tikanga is what it is. Did I start with 10 minutes? Um, oops, how do I go backwards? Um, look, I, I, go, I went into this hoping that I would find the magical gems answering questions like, you know, is bottom trawling right or wrong, maru? Uh, reality is, uh, I don't have the answer today. I don't know, uh, and neither do we. We don't know collectively. We're working through a process, and that is a, I think that's the key point, right? There's a good process to follow, and we are working through that. It's not for me to throw stuff out there in terms of some of our research findings. Um, you know, bits and pieces, it's got to be presented in context. And uh, we're working on that. We're going to get there. These are some of the... Uh, uh, English translations, 80% of our interviews were done in Rotoe Te Reo Māori. Boom, over the top of my head. Uh, but we come into research, we come in from different uh, reasons. You know, I don't fully have the real. Many of us do. But hey, we absolutely all have a place to pay, play in, in, this, uh, in this process. Uh, final point. I absolutely 100% believe we have the solutions for fisheries management, for fisheries science, uh, for a new way of, of thinking and a new approach to how we do fisheries here in Aotearoa. Amongst our rangahau Māori, in terms of our tikanga, our mātauranga, our kawa, I absolutely believe that. Uh, that's one of the learnings that has come out of our 18 months so far spent on this research. What I think needs to happen is just please uh, throw us the ball. Throw us the ball, let us run it, let us run it according to how we play the game. Uh, let us get on with it. At some point, this country will benefit from being able to pull that. The minister talked about a fusion. Uh, that is absolutely what we believe in, is a fusion. But uh, for a period of time, we, we just need that ball. We need to be able to do what we believe is right and get on with it. Kia ora tātou.